the um, charts and other information posted on my website. Um, I take for granted everybody knows what it means. And that's not necessarily the case. I've been doing these charts now for 10 years or so. And I did a lot of programming in the spreadsheet <clears throat> to make it simple because it's repetitious. And uh, so anyway, I thought I would take some time and go over those charts because there's two plus years of history on my website showing these things. If you're really wanting to learn um, how to uh, sell options, <clears throat> this is good information. Of course, everything is centered on, on my concept of the transaction set. So we'll start there. So on the website, I um, you're brought to this page here, which allows you to go through uh, various history. Um, so when you click on a, a date, it takes you to that date. Um, so you can go through the whole get and caboodle um, for several years, um, like here. So basically, we're working on the, the third year of, of the postings. Uh oh, and that's a bug. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, you get the drift, and I'll fix that bug. So let's talk about the charts. And I'm going to go to an earlier date where I have a uh, a larger transaction set. No, well, that was not so large, is it? The, uh, which brings up a point. When I stop the chart is really somewhat arbitrary. I could stop at any time or just let it go on forever, uh, but it would get too big to post and uh, and lose its meaning if, with too much information. So basically, um, I, I try to cut it off whenever I'm back to all cash. That is, I have no outstanding contracts sold. Um, and this one was started um, on uh, May 30th. And let's go back to... Um, okay, here's a good one. <clears throat> As you can see, this ran along uh, for quite some time because it, was, it took me that much time to get back to cash. So basically, it shows all of the contracts that I have sold. And since this one's already closed and expired, um, the colors indicate um, what happened. Now, the best results is when it's, the contracts are not exercised. That means that the revenue um, was 100% profit and 100% free cash flow. So that's ideal. Historically, about 30% of the contracts I sell will not be exercised. That's really what makes this whole thing very profitable. Otherwise, I'm just trying to exceed the spread. And what do I mean by spread? Well, in this price range, HBI, the striking increments are 50 cents. So on the combination of the put and the call premiums need to exceed 50 cents. If I do that, I make uh, a, a profit based on generally accepted accounting practices, although my free cash flow is always better than that. Okay. The reason my free cash flow is so good, if you've ever played blackjack, you know the player goes first. Finish today. Another chart that's useful 
is the moving averages. The moving averages give me some indication of the likely movement of the stock price. And I have um, programmed my spreadsheet to do all of these calculations and color it up and whatnot. So let me step through how that's done. Okay, this is the raw data off the internet. So what I do is I scrape off or copy that information and I paste it into my spreadsheet. So and why do I do this? Doing the website is not necessary to me do it creating an income of this. In the beginning, it was very helpful for me to submerge myself into the movement of the market. So it became a, just a natural thing. I don't have to think about it a lot because I'm so, I've been following it so long, it just comes as second nature. For a newbie, that won't be the case, and these kinds of charts are very helpful. Uh, but let me stress that the most important thing is the transaction set. And um, this is a PDF document that I created back around 2017. Um, and it, it this is the engine. This is this is the magic that makes all this happen. And that is the fact that I am selling only. I'm not buying. Also, I let them run until expiration or until they're exercised. So everything is based on the accumulation of premiums. And as you can see, it's very simple. If I do a put and it's an exercise and I do a call and it's exercise and another put and it's exercise and another call, et cetera. But, but when options expire uh, uh, without being um, exercised, um, I have that revenue and it accumulates, as you can see here. And as I said, about 30% of the time they're not. Now that's over the long term. Lately, with the market volatility, it's fallen below. Um, 30%, uh, but I'm still making money. Um, but when it's 30% or better, man, I'm really making money. That's when it's really nice. So I hope this has been useful. Well, I've developed hiccups there. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments uh, and I'll try my best to answer them and um, good luck make some money best wishes